hi guys welcome back to another beautiful tutorial with eco designs to fit in today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this beautiful booboo -boo kaftan dress it is very simple and if this is what you are interested in learning stay tuned until the end of this tutorial here is my ankara print i'm going to be using for this tutorial here i have three and a half yards of material you're going to be needing your shoulder measurement bust measurement waist measurement hip measurement and then the length of the gown now you might not see how i'm folding this on camera because this screen is very narrow hence why i'm using this lining to show you guys how to fold this so guys you are going to fold along the yardage okay so first of all fold into two like this and you go ahead and fold again into for just like i'm showing you right now and automatically the upper part becomes the shoulder point okay so you're going to have to place your tape at the shoulder point and then mark down to the bust point so the bust point of my client here is 11 inches now after marking the bust point go down and mark the waistline 18 inches and then from the waistline go down and mark the hip line here i'm using 26 inches and once you are done marking out the hip line go down and mark out your length okay so the length of this my client is 58 inches i'm going to add two inches for folding allowance so automatically what i have here is 60 inches and i'm going to go ahead and cut it out okay now that i have my lens i'm going to go ahead and square up my lines so i'm going to bring in my straight ruler and then square up my lines and once i am done with this you're going to go back to the top of your fabric and then measure the length of your sleeve so you're going to have to place your tape at the nip of your neck and then measure down to where you want the sleeve length now after you measure these you're going to go back to the folded part of your fabric and then measure out the neck width and your neck depth so for my back neck width and depth i'm making use of three and a half inches by 1.5 inches respectively okay now after i mark my back neck width and neck depth i'm going to go ahead and mark out my front neck depth okay the front is going to be a v neckline so now i went down to seven inches for the v neckline and i went ahead to connect it into the width okay now once you are done with this next what you are going to do is from the shoulder line you are going to go down to the bust point okay this is how wide you want your sleeve opening so i'm going to go ahead and connect and this is going to be my armhole depth once i am done with it go over to the bust point and divide your bust circumference into four whatever you have because this is a free gown add up 1.5 inches it all depends on how free you want your gown to be if you want it not that free you're going to have to add up one inch and then add 1.5 inches for your sewing allowance although the sewing allowance depends on what you want go ahead and repeat the same thing for the waistline and then the hip line okay so coming to the waist divide your waist circumference by four add 1.5 inches and then 1.5 inches so in total i added three inches for both my ease allowance and sewing allowance i repeated the same thing on the hip and then going down to the hem whatever i have on my hip i'm going to extend it to the length of my gown okay so i went ahead to measure out 14 inches and then took it down to the hem all right so once i was done with this i went ahead to connect all my lines now on the bust point line go down by two inches and then connect it into the armhole depth okay this will help you eliminate any form of sharp curve around that area and once you are done we go ahead and cut it out
and the next thing i'm going to do right now is to go ahead and cut out my neck okay so first of all i'm going to have to cut the back neck first you can see what i am doing and after that i'm going to notch the center and then open up my fabric just like this you can see what i am doing okay this is to enable me cut out the front neck okay so i'm going to open it up like this and then cut out my front neckline so that is it i have both my front and my back i'm going to place it on the table so that you can see so you can see that the depth of my back is one inch and then the front neckline is a v neckline okay so i'm going to go ahead and cut out the facing for this i folded my fabric into two and i'm going to make sure that they aligns with the center of my neck for both the back and the front you can see what i am doing and once i am done placing it i'm going to go ahead and follow the shape of my neck and then cut it out okay so after i cut it out i'm now going to determine the length that i want for my facing so for here i made this off four inches okay but coming to the back i reduced it a bit with half an inch and then went ahead to cut it out so you guys i have my facing next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and place this facing on my actual gown okay so i'm going to ensure that the right sides are facing each other and once i am done placing it i will use my pins to secure it in place and after i secure this in place i'm going to go right to my weaving machine and weave the edges the rough edges and then sew around my neck line okay using half an inch you can see what i have right here i am done sewing it next i'm going to use my hemming tape to hold around this facing okay all right to ensure that they stick properly well that they won't come out of my neckline so you can see the way i'm placing my hemming tape on this this is the new strategy that i learned so what i do is to place my hemming tape first of all on my facing okay at the edge of my facing and then use my steam to hold it intact okay so that they won't move around you know that if you want to place your hemming tape underneath your facing they tend to shift and delay your work so what i do is to use my steams to hold them in place and then bring it down and iron it properly well you can see what i am doing so and it makes work really very easy for you all right so you guys just try this out and you won't regret it okay so once i am done holding this down I'm going to make sure that the front part that is the good part of my gown is not folding so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the good part and then make sure that I iron it properly well okay Now, once I am done inserting my facing, this is what it should look like. Now, it's time for us to insert the lace trimming, okay? So, I've got these lace trimmings and to know the quantity that you need, you're going to need to measure the length of the gown and then including the sleeve and the pocket, alright? Now, I'm going to be fixing this right at the center of this um gown so to get the center i'm going to go ahead and use my iron to make a line okay so i folded the center into two and then iron it down so that i could have lines to indicate my center front so now that i have the line what i'm going to do is to use my tailoring chalk and my ruler to trace out the line 
so that it will guide me on how to place my lace trimmings okay so now i have the center what i'm going to do is to also indicate the shoulder like locate this shoulder all right and i'm going to start fixing my lace trim is okay so you can see what i am doing first of all fold the edge inward and then i'm going to use my pin to hold it in place and you guys this is the way you're going to fix this i will use my pins to hold it in place all the way to the hem line okay so after i am done with one part i'm going to go ahead and repeat the same thing to the other part So I went ahead to do the other part. You can see what I have right here, you guys. Okay. Once you are done with this, you are going to go over to your sewing machine and first of all, stitch that part on the shoulder line and then stitch down to the hem line and also stitch the other part of it okay so after i was done you can see this is what i have you can see that this is very very beautiful so what i'm going to do next is to go ahead and fold the hem of my sleeve and then also input this lace trimming okay so this lace trimming is going to be on my sleeve um and also the pocket okay so once i am done i'm going to hem it and then join the side seam which i've done right here you can see what our gown looks like so next thing i'm going to do right away is to go ahead and fix in my pocket i've gone ahead to cut out my pocket off camera but then you are going to have to use your tape and locate where you want to fix this pocket, okay? So, if you take a look at the inspiration, you would notice that the pocket started right about 3 inches above the hip line, okay? So, I went ahead to place my tape on the shoulder and measure down to 22 inches. And then, you guys, this is my pocket. I've gone ahead to fold in using half an inch on um on all the four sides of this pocket okay the pocket is about nine inches by 12 inches because it's a wide pocket and it's just a side pocket okay so i'm going to have to place in my lace trimming on top and then use my hemming gum to hold it down before i then stitch okay so you guys after we are done this is our gown you can see what it looks like i hope you guys find this video helpful if you do please give this video a thumbs up share to get more people to see this video i will see you in my next one bye, bye.